Pac. I'm seeing death around the corner and I won't stop. I got a lot. I wanna do heaven, gotta get old. Stuck in the streets and I just can't let go. It's over the knee, they say I'm greedy. I say they conceited cause they can feed me relief. I ain't never seen all my life been full of pain. It's like an iron ball with a chain stuck to your brain. It's a strain. But when that's all I'm asking, I know it's a sin to ask God if he's lacking. Are you banging down? No, I ain't banging down for nothing. Like the Lord's down face. Next he rats, seen he bust like I'm trust to be a hater for sake of good, 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 and handshake. But fake mentality, my robbery. I keep it cold, hocus pocus, disappearing with my gun smoke. I focus, it's hopeless to try to change me. I feel like the whole world. The Wood Street Players is a collective of Albert, Batman, Donaldson, and Frank Nitty Hodge. The group was said to start rapping in 1992 while both were incarcerated on drug and assault charges. The duo came together under the Wood Street Boys banner. So in 1993, they set their plans to play. In 1994, they made it official and changed the name to Wood Street Players. 1995, they dropped their first album, Jet Town Players, following up in 1997 with Turning and Burning, and in 2000, released Rules of the Game, all under their imprint, Do For Self Records. So, in all of the years of pursuing a rap career independently, according to law enforcement and the mayor at the time, the Wood Street players were a notorious drug gang with strong ties to the Vice Lords organization, with Albert Batman Donaldson at the top of the organization, allegedly running drug operations, and ordering murders at will. In 1997, it was alleged by the head of the MBN, the Mississippi Bureau of Narcotics, that Vidal Sullivan, who was said to be a hitman for the gang, was arrested that year and charged with murder for the being death of 16-year-old Reginald Versailles, whom law enforcement claimed he disrespected Batman at a nightclub and was ordered to be killed. Vidal Sullivan was eventually exonerated of the charges after an uncooperative witness. Mayor Milton stated that he knew Mr. Sullivan since he was 14 or 15 and that he's the most dangerous shooters in Jackson. In the span of four years, there were three other murders that was linked to the Wood Street Players gang. Richard Butler was charged in the shooting death of Keon Perry in 1998. John D. Stewart was charged with Harrison Hillard death. In 2001, it was alleged that Albert Batman Donaldson ordered the hit of Aaron Crockett from a Hines County jail cell. Claiming Donaldson gave the cell phone to another member to call the hit on Crockett out of fear of testifying. Later that evening, the informant saw the evening news where Aaron Crockett was found shot to death over 20 times while sitting in the vehicle. In a case with very little to go off and more twists and turns than a roller coaster, on top of that, the DA at odds with the mayor over the defendants. Eventually, Batman was exonerated and acquitted of all charges. After doing time for another aggravated assault charge, after release, Batman changed his life around and now as an advocate for peace and nonviolence. So you speak on the white lord, man. What made you get down with the white lord, man? Well, partially because it's a culture thing. Right. Everything over on Wood Street is predominantly white lord, right. Stone, right. four CHs, uh, you name it, under five double eyes. Right. Everything over here. Right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? So, like, it was a culture move. It wasn't just like I had a revelation. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I, I mean, you, 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 where you are. You from over there, you, you, from over, you got to right. remember where you at. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? It's your hood. Be proud of your hood. Right. So, it was kind of like that. You know, and mm -hmm. it stuck with me a lot of things that I read and a lot, a lot of positions I was in. Like, I went to prison a lot of times. I was on boards and stuff, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I talked about a lot of stuff. I kept things fair, mm -hmm. you know, even when people were shooting crosses. Because, you know, when you got criminals, they're going to be criminal shit. Right, right. It ain't no different, ain't no different than saying out here right now, Vice Lord is a, uh, 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 an activist. Right. 
Right. I'm an activist. Right. That's what we dumbly supposed to be. Right. Our right. lives just tell us this. Yeah. This is what our lives just tell us now. Yeah. It literally tells the same thing to the gangster too. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when we get out and do the opposite, like we did, like I did, I got out, I sold drugs, and I sold drugs because poverty. Mm -hmm. See, it's always an action and a reaction. Right. It's always something happening to make something else happen. All right. And, and, and it corresponds with everything that's going on in your life. So by me jumping into the culture thing, I'm living over here. I live over here. I'm born and raised over here. Right, right. I turn Vice Lord. I'm Vice Lord now. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I want a game thing. Right. So it was a lot of gangsters I still deal with. Right. Mm -hmm. I still hung with gangsters. I still do what I did. And they right. respected who I was. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So right. it wasn't just, it was, it, to me, being a Vice Lord and people read the literature, I can give them the literature. I can mm -hmm. sit down and tell them religion what it tell them. Yeah. It tell them that you're supposed to be in your community doing what I'm doing. Right. right. It right. tell them that you're supposed to protect your woman. It tell them all this. It tell them what you're supposed to do about your community. It tell you everything what you're supposed to do with your brother. It tell you a lot of stuff. People don't look at that. Right. The young average man right now, they looking at just hanging out. I'm a vice lord. Right. I'm mob. I'm doing right. this. Yeah. I'm doing right. that. I'm a rob. I'm a take. I'm a do this. No. Ain't about that me. ain't what it's about. I, I, if they really want to know the truth, go let's look at the history of Vice Lord. Right. You know we got a grant. CBL right. got the first grant made for non-profit program, non-profit foundation. Speak mm -hmm. on. See, and people don't know that we supposed to be doing this right now. Right. But like to add, like what happened? Stuff happened. Shit happened. Right. I'd be the first to say shit happened. Right. People, you got certain people in position don't make the right moves. Mm -hmm. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. And it, just because they didn't make the right move, don't mean. We don't pose to make the right move. Right. right. The right. ones that represent it now. Right. The ones out being active now. You ain't gotta be out shooting everybody you get into it with, right. but you do. So when you do that, you gotta take your motherfucking lick. Right. You got to. I took mine. Yeah. When I went to prison, yeah. I went to trial. I did everything I supposed to did when I supposed to did it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's, that's deep. That's a deep that's a deep question right there. Yeah. I never thought about it like that, because it's so it's cultural. Right. Yeah, it wasn't like you had to sit down and mama take you to church and make you do it. Right. It was like natural. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Everybody around me, white lord. So mm -hmm. why would I not be white lord? You right. know what I'm saying? And you see a person that do be be different. Mm -hmm. Right. It, just because they different don't mean it's not real. Right, right, right. You just gotta understand another person bad and another person another person beautiful. Right. You got to. So I wanna uh get into some of the music, man. When did you first meet Hodge, man? Me and Hodge went at 10 years old. Okay. Hodge was 10, I was 10. And believe it or not, I was the A student. Okay. Hodge was the hood baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hodge was, he, he, he was the first person that got me out of school. And my mom right now, she probably slapping him side of his head.